All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of 100 over 50 to the power of 50. So 100 is the same thing as 50 plus 50. So I'm going to rewrite this as 100 to the power of 50 plus 50. And I have this over 50 to the power of 50. So now, an important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So as you see, in this case, I have 100 to the power of 50 plus 50. So 100 to the power of 50 plus 50 this is going to equal a to the power of m, so 100 to the power of 50 times a to the power of n. And n is the same thing as m, so again, 100 to the power of 50. So now I have 100 to the power of 50 times 100 to the power of 50 over 50 to the power of 50. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of, or sorry, over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, I can rewrite this as 100 to the power of 50 times 100 over 100 to the power of 50 over 50 to the power of 50. And now I'm going to rewrite 100 to the power of 50 over 50 to the power of 50 as 100 over 50 to the power of 50. So now 100 divided by 50 is simply 2. So now I have 100 to the power of 50 times 2 to the power of 50. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a times b to the power of m. So in this case, I have 100 to the power of 50 times 2 to the power of 50. We can think of a as 100, b as 2, and m as 50. So this is going to equal 100 times 2 to the power of 50. Well, 100 times 2 is simply 200, so I'm left with 200 to the power of 50. So this is my answer. All right, guys. So I'm going to be solving 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 12. So right here, I want to find the value of x. So for, for my solution, the first start with 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 12. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 3 to the power of x plus 1, we can rewrite as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 12. Now 12, we can also rewrite as 3 times 4. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3 times 4. Now 3 to the power of 1, that's the same thing as 3. So I have 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 3 times 4. So now all I have to do is divide both sides by 3. These two cancel out. Now I'm simply left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 4. Now 4 this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2. So now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form 
log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 3 to the power of x, I can move x to the front, and log 2 to the power of 2, I can move 2 to the front. So now I have x times log 3 is equal to 2 times log 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. And these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 2 times log 2 over log 3. Now log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. And log 3, this is equal to 0 0.4771. So I have x is equal to 2 times 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771. Now 2 times 0 0.301, that's equal to 0 0.602, or 0 0.4771, which is equal to 1.26. So this is my answer. All right, so I have the problem 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 97. So I want to calculate this problem without a calculator. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 7 to the power of 100 as 7 to the power of 97 plus 3. So now I have 7 to the power of 97 plus 3 minus 7 to the power of 97. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 7 to the power of 97 plus 3, that's going to equal 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3. Then I have minus 7 to the power of 97. Now from here, if I factor out 7 to the power of 97, 7 to the power of 97 times, 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3 divided by 7 to the power of 97, simply just 7 to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 97 divided by 7 to the power of 97 is 1. So now this is the same thing as 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3, that's equal to 343. So times 343 minus 1. Now 343 minus 1, that's 342. So my answer is 342 times 7 to the power of 97. Now, second method to solving this problem. So I first start with 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 97. So before, we replaced 100 with 97 plus 3. But now we're going to replace 97 with 100 minus 3. So now I have 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 100 minus 3. So now I'm going to rewrite 100 minus 3 as 100 plus negative 3. Now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 100 plus negative 3 that's going to equal 7 to the power of 100 times 7 to the power of negative 3. Now, if I factor out 7 to the power of 100 from here, I have 7 to the power of 100 times 7 to the power of 100 divided by 7 to the power of 100 is 1 minus 7 to the power of 100 divided by 7 to the power of 100 times 7 to the power of negative 3 is 7 to the power of negative 3. Now, 7 to the power of negative 3, sorry, 1 minus 7 to the power of negative 3. 
Well, 7 to the power of negative 3 is the same thing as 1 over 7 to the power of positive 3. And 7 to the power of positive 3 is 343. So now I have 7 to the power of 100 times 1 minus 1 over 343. Now, 1 minus 1 over 343, we could go ahead and do that over here. 1 times 343 is 343. Now, 1 times 343 is 343 again, minus 1 times 1 is 1. So I have 342 over 343. So I have 7 to the power of 100 times 342 over 343. So this is another solution.